the attack on Gaza. It came after the U.S. elections. <laughs> not before, that's not by accident. My opinion, and I can be wrong, my opinion is that Israel, in order to prepare the way for the Dajjal to rule over the Holy Land, has to cleanse the Holy Land, cleanse it of Arabs. The easiest part of the Holy Land to be cleansed of Arabs is Gaza. Four years ago, the blistering attack on Gaza with Hosni Mubarak blocking the way to Egypt was to shatter them. About 1,400 were killed. But the next attack on Gaza must be ten times more ferocious than that one. But this time you must have a Juan al Muslimon in charge of Egypt. Firmly in the saddle. So you've got to do something to get rid of the military as an obstacle. And they did it. <laughs> you've got to do something to get rid of the legal establishment as an obstacle. And they did it. And so Morsi is now firmly in charge. Ikhwan is now firmly in charge. The boat is rocking a little bit, but it's still firmly in charge. So when the attack on Gaza takes place, it will be so ferocious that Egypt will have to open the doors. And you'll have something called Exodus. Exodus is a book in the Bible, in the Torah. Exodus. Mean a mass movement of people fleeing out of Gaza into Egypt. And whoever is so brave to remain in Gaza, it's just a mopping up operation. <laughs> and in this way, Israel will be able to say, mission accomplished. We have cleansed Gaza of the Arabs. But there's also another agenda. I don't know which one comes first, or which will take priority over the other. And that is that because somebody rewrote the Torah, to put into the Torah that al ardul Muqaddasa, the Holy Land, extends from the river of Egypt which is the river Nile, to the river Euphrates, the Forat. This is al abdul Muqaddasa. Of course it's a lie. Of course it's false. But that's what they did. So if the Dajjal is to rule over the Holy Land, the implication is that Israel will have to extend its territorial frontiers to take back Sinai and also to take physical control of the Eastern Delta <coughs> from the river Egypt to the Red sea, from the river Nile to the Red Sea. You need therefore to prepare the way for a big war with Egypt. And preparing the way for a big war with Egypt is getting rid of your favorite son, Hosni Mubarak, who served you for long enough, and putting Ikhwan in charge. And then forcing Ikhwan government in Egypt to support the Palestinians. And that, that support must continue to escalate until Israel can cry terrorism. to bear the grounds for attack on Egypt. When the attack on Egypt takes place, it will have to be not only from the air but from the ground because you need to seize land. In order to succeed with a big country like Egypt, you need to attack from all sides. 
So you need me to in Libya. And thanks to those who have eyes and yet do not see. NATO is now in Libya. <laughs> yes, thanks to those who have eyes and yet do not see. And consider Imran Hussein to be misguided and a supporter of Gaddafi and a supporter of Assad and such nonsense. <laughs> Lib NATO is now in Libya. So the attack will take place from both sides. Egypt, Egypt will be attacked from the east by Israel and from the west by NATO. From the north you'll have a, a, a naval blockade and bombardment. And they're fishing in the south with Sudan, South Sudan, to be able to attack, make an attack from the south as well. Ethiopia and South Sudan are both clients of Israel today. Ethiopia and South Sudan are both clients of Israel today. The only thing that's standing in the way is Sudan. That's all. If they succeed in destabilizing Sudan, and that is a possibility, then, if, then Egypt would be surrounded from all sides. So the attack on Gaza, I believe, has to be analyzed from the perspective of that grand design of what are the ultimate objectives. You've been a wonderful audience with me. I know we still have questions there, but we have to call it a day. Uh, Inshallah, uh, we hope and pray that you'll find the time to listen to my lecture that I gave in the Riba conference, which is on YouTube which will help you to understand more about the monetary system. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna ka inta samir alim wa tu'alina ya mulana inna ka inta tawwa abu rahim. Bi rahmatika ya Allah.